So, you need to patch or update your vCenter server. A great way to protect yourself from things going sideways unexpectedly is to take a snapshot of the virtual machine before you make any significant changes. Snapshots give you the ability to roll back to a point in time quickly without the need for a full restore. It's at this moment I often get asked, can I even take a snapshot of vCenter server? And the answer is, of course you can. However, there's one thing you should know. So I'm gonna do a quick video to cover that for you. Let's jump in. Today, I need to patch vCenter server in my lab. Before I install the patch, I wanna take a snapshot of the virtual machine first. As you know, virtual machine snapshots are a great way to recover to a point in time. One thing to keep in mind with vCenter is that it does contain a database server inside. As with any database service, it is best to snapshot these workloads when the database is shut down. To do that here, I will simply shut down vCenter, take the snapshot from the ESX host client, and power it up again. To get started, I need to locate vCenter server in my inventory tree. What I'm looking for is to understand what ESX host is running vCenter server. This is found in the summary tab, and you can see it is ESX03. So I'll put my web browser at the vSphere host client for ESX03 and log in. Now I can locate vCenter server in my virtual machine list. I can select vCenter server and click shut down. This will kick off a guest operating system shutdown process, which will shut down the machine gracefully and make sure every database transaction is written. It's at this point you may be asking, why didn't you just shut down vCenter from vCenter, which is obviously possible. My reasoning here is that I want to make sure beyond the shadow of a doubt that I know the root password for this host. If I don't, I may find it very difficult to power up vCenter again. Now that vCenter is shut down and it's selected, I can go to the Actions menu and take a snapshot. I really like making my snapshot names descriptive as I'm always working on multiple machines and multiple projects at the same time, and I don't want to forget what a particular snapshot is for. The snapshot process usually only takes a few seconds, and once it's complete, we can power on the virtual machine again. Now it's time to pat yourself on the back and go get a cup of coffee. vCenter is going to take about 10 to 15 minutes to power up. If you try and access the web client before vCenter server is fully started, you may see a few weird error messages. This is just part of the initialization process. I hope you liked this short video. If you did, give me a like. If you want to see more content like this, tap that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.